22,000, 36,000, 46,000, 60,000 plus. Line NYC, I mean, code NYC, sorry, late NYC, sorry. Anime NYC is New York's anime convention, a showcase of the best of Japanese pop culture in the biggest city of America. Essentially, it's a place for weeps to come together, spend money, and interact with other weeps. I'm not a cosplayer by any means, but I do love anime and I love fashion. Obviously. Izumi, Baji, Yuji. All characters I decided to put my own spin on with looks I created. Speaking of characters, can we talk about the anime NYC badges, please? Friday badge Sakugan, Saturday badge Platinum Man, Sunday badge Attack on Titan, and three day badge Blade Runner? I mean, they fumbled the bag, right? Not just, it's not just me. It's, it's, it can't just be me. First of all, my girl and I never even got our badges in the mail and we ordered before the deadline. So we ended up going there the day of and going to will call and some people were mad confused like why we didn't get our badges. So we showed proof that we paid for it and somebody ended up helping us out, giving us two, two three day badges that we deserved because we paid for it. Anyway, with all the hype around various anime coming out or that's out right now, why wouldn't you make the three day badge, the one piece badge because of the thousandth episode that you are also premiering during the weekend? Why wouldn't you make the Friday badge, the My Hero Academia badge because the concert that y'all putting on during this weekend as well. Saturday could be Attack on Titan because we already know what's happening in the winter, it's about to be lit. And then Sunday could be one of the movies that you are premiering like Pompo the Cenophile, which was actually a really good movie. But I digress for right now. They fumbled the bag, O-D. Lines plus cold weather is what I heard about Anime NYC. I personally had the amazing opportunity of getting ahead of the line. New York implemented strict policies which require all event spaces to make visitors show their vaccine card with proof of at least one dose or something like that. Anime NYC sent an email less than a week before the convention allowing people to come in for two days to get their badges and vax wristbands early. Personally, I think they should have sent the email out a month in advance while allowing two weeks prior to the event for people to come in and pick up their wristbands and badges. But hey, even our DC was late to their panel. They showed us a few things like hood avatar and a bunch of other things they have in the works. I'm personally not about to fumble anybody else's bag, so that's all the information I'm about to give you. Beyond about the tier list panel where they rated mad different anime characters fits. And it was so active and wow, funny, bruh. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the Beyond the Bot crew's like fashion takes was OD weak. Like, not valid. But it was funny. Not valid. The exhibition hall was the heart of Anime NYC. It had everything Anime NYC has to offer like cosplayers, content creators, anime manga, food, merch, games, cars, lines. I mean, if you're still watching, comment your favorite anime or comment the next convention that you're going to. Meeting my Mewtwo's this year was crazy. It was dope, it felt unreal, it made me feel like a kid again, especially after the paralysis last year. The pandemonium really isolated us and caused a cancellation of the 2020 Anime NYC, which was awkwardly like a blessing because it allowed more of us to come together online, which only built anticipation and got us more excited to meet each other. So, I guess? Lines. Day two, Anime NYC made a lot of changes. They sent an email the night before detailing the changes that they made and we were able to walk right in. Right into a big line. Before Anime NYC, I promoted a photo shoot sale. A few mutuals reached out to me, so we set up dates, times, and they sent me examples of what they wanted to embody. I'm thinking about applying to host a photo meetup at Anime NYC 2022. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know in the comments. The after party? The after party, bro, the after party was crazy. It was, it was honestly a great experience. I love it. I would do it again, 10 out of 10.
My girlfriend ended up winning a raffle for two tickets to one of the most relatable movies I've ever seen called Pompo the Cenophile. Yo, I was holding back a tear. I had to <clears throat> one time so I wasn't like in there like. <laughs> I feel like I connected with the main character, Gene who has a great eye, but lacks confidence and is filled with anxiety. You see what I mean? To be honest, they need ramen. They need more food. They have some dope food vendors, but they need ramen. I told my mutuals on Twitter that I'm gonna do an Anime NYC YouTube video, and I didn't wanna miss out on anything, so I asked them to mention some things, good or bad, that they want me to bring up in a video. One of my mutuals said, I know you better talk about how people wasn't from New York yelling, year. Any time I kept hearing people say, year, I was like, yeah, not from New York. Like, you're just not. Like, you could hear it in their ears that they weren't from New York. Another mutual said, your experience of the people you met, the stuff you bought, uh, your fave thing you did, the coolest thing you saw, something awkward, one embarrassing thing that happened, and one thing you changed. So, like I mentioned earlier, my experience with people I met was super surreal. It was like crazy. It felt like a kid again. It felt like it, it's just a hard feeling to explain. It's it was just something that made me feel great joy. I, I didn't buy anything because I always buy stuff. I buy and spend, and I didn't want to do that this year. My favorite thing I did would maybe be the party that I went to was pretty lit. It was like an anime party, and people. It was, it, was, it was a unique experience going to an anime after party. I don't think anything embarrassing, but definitely awkward when we made that video and you know, there's mad people around us. The video was dope, but you know, people looking at me makes me feel hella awkward. Um, one thing I changed, I think there's a lot of things I changed. It doesn't take away from how great Anime NYC is. I think definitely the line situation and pre-organization. I would add more food because I believe with more food, comes more people and more community. But yeah, it doesn't take away from how good Anime NYC. Anime NYC was actually really dope this year. Talk about the line, the movie, favorite cosplays, panels you attended, networking opportunities, merch you bought, if any. Okay, so I'm gonna let my friend explain the line experience. I got in minutes to four, so about three hours I was outside. So I had my uh, pass already, so I went on the wristband line and I'm just following the line of people going to the end of the wristband line. And I'm like, oh wow, this line is a little long. And it wraps around once and you think, oh, okay, I guess the end is coming soon. But no, nope. it just, you just keep walking. I want to say that you entered on, you entered the uh, Java Center, I think it was on 35th Street. The line went all the way down to 41st Street. Damn! It wasn't organized. There was no one at the, there was no staff at the back of the line to say, hey, just keep, going on this line to make sure people weren't uh, jumping a line because that's eventually what started happening. When I got to where you could see the Java Center, there was still lines like zigzagging like in like, I guess, the parking spot area, I guess you would call it in front of the Java Center. Uh, that's when eventually people just started running. They just started running into the doors, running like banging on the doors, trying to get in. And at that point I was like, there was no line anymore. So you're like, yeah, we're just running in because We've been out here for how long trying to get inside and it's it was ridiculous. And Anime NYC always happens in November in New York. It was cold and it's right by the war too, very cold. So yeah, I don't blame people at all for getting uh, frustrated or annoyed because you're standing online for how many hours? People miss panels. I unfortunately missed the RDC panel that I really wanted to go to. And yeah, it was, it wasn't, good so i really connected with the movie like i said earlier i think seeing a character that i can relate to so heavily really inspired me because the character is someone who loves to create he specifically creates films i also edit and create content and a bunch of other things but he is also filled with anxiety and also has a great eye for quality I felt like that was very relatable for me and seeing that character's growth on screen really inspired me. Uh, my favorite cosplays. A lot of Draken cosplays from Tokyo Revengers were crazy detailed. I didn't really look for network opportunities, but we got to do a photo shoot and that was great. You did amazing. Merch you bought none because monies. The stampede that happened at the One Piece 1000th episode. Okay, so I'm gonna let you tell it. 
almost became Astro World. Almost became Astro World Part Two. Just with the stampedes, not with the deaths. Everyone's just talking with their own conversations and stuff like that. And then it happens. We see people running. And you know how it is if you're black. If you see somebody running, doesn't matter what the reason is, either you're gonna automatically think of running too, or you're gonna just question why they're running. Cause I questioned while they're running and I was like, wait, why are they running? And I look and I'm like, oh, they're getting cut in the line. I was like, yo, we gotta go. I was like, I was like, holy shit. I was like, oh, like there were no words. Like I think I cut, I think we're in the middle of a conversation. There's like a little wall to like separate the pavement from the actual street. And I hop over, like, and we hop over that and they have to go get their badges. So they go on that line and I already have my badge. So all I need is a wristband. So I, you know, dipped all the way across the parking lot. And, you know, I got online, squeezed it. Everyone else squeezed in too. I'm like, every, the guy next to me, he, he did the exact same thing I did. He was like, yo, we getting in. I was like, hell yeah, we getting in. I showed my Vax card, cause you know, we are vaccinated. And, um, you know, I showed my car, I showed my badge, even the wristband. I was in. I was like, cool, we're in. Yeah, Anime NYC 2021 was amazing. Um, you know, trauma bonding, aka joining the stampede. Talk about the weather and that ridiculous line. It was brick. How most dealer rooms are like Walmart size and theirs was like the size of four Costco's. Yeah, the rooms are pretty insane. And Jacob Javits Center is actually expanding the building. So I wonder if Anime NYC would take advantage of that. I hope they do, they should do it. Zuko picking me up, all the cosplay content. Okay, so this is what I mean by like meeting in Mewtwo's after not seeing them for a long time or meeting them for the first time is like a surreal experience because Zuko's 5'10", and Ava's like six feet something. I don't know, and I'm not gonna try to guess, but he just ran up to her, picked her clean up off the floor. Phone, Her phone fell and all that, and I was just like, wow, wow your favorite cosplays. Okay, there was two specific cosplays that stood out. The shorty from My Hero Academia, the bunny shorty, there was a lot of people cosplaying her, and there was a lot of people cosplaying from Tokyo Revengers. So hear me out. Remember that scene in Tokyo Revengers where the two gangs were about to fight, and then you see them, like, line up? Imagine if somebody took a photo with, like, the Tokyo Revengers cosplay with all the Tokyo Revengers cosplayers over here, and the bunny girl from My Hero Academia was over here, and it looked like they was about to scrap. That would be insane. Irrelevant to what the question is, I guess, but that would be kind of sick. But yeah, I'll say the bunny girl from my hair, Damien. All the dumb moments, I think those dumb moments were golden. This is not a dumb moment, but this made me think about the three dudes who were walking around with the cosplays from like big homies of like the government and um, One Piece from the time where Luffy was trying to save Ace. They were walking around as uh, those characters and it was walking in sync. They're walking mass smooth. The capes were flowing in this non-existent wind that, that they just happened to just have wherever they walked inside the convention. This is not a question on here, but there were photo meetups. I didn't really peep it or really like pay attention to it. I think it would be dope for my friend to explain the photo meetups. It was a little bit nerve wracking trying to find um, people to meet up with because it was just like, a lot of people. It did get kind of hectic trying to meet up with people, but I did have the opportunity to meet up with a few friends, which I enjoyed very much. We got to actually go out and, um, you know, hang out for a bit. There were also meetups for different groups for different shows. That was pretty awesome. Um, on a whole, the experience was just fun. It was fun and I would do it all over again, um, differently scheduled the planned. <laughs> There's a lot to do and a lot to experience, and I highly recommend it. If you do get the opportunity to go, go for it. No lines day three. I'm pretty sure it's because they were over us, but I hope they keep that same energy and get more staff for Anime NYC 2022. I'd love to be on an organization committee. I'm just saying, I like to organize, just saying.